Hello and welcome to this new section about Ajax filters. Let's take a look about what we are going to learn from this section. If we go to Amazon.com and search for anything as you see here like microphones, you will see that we can choose filters to set a particular uh, information in this page here. So if I click on a brand, on the Shure brand, I will get only the microphones from a Shure manufacturer. Or if I clicked on this average customer review and rating, I will get only the product that have 4 star and up or 2 star and up. And there is more filters like certification and if it's uh, making an international shipping and other uh, type of filters. And it's the same in eBay or any other e-commerce website. You, you can choose from filters. Now let's go and prepare our workspace. I have this table here from my SQL workbench. What I'm going to add is two drop lists. The first one will be here and it will contain the date added this week and uh, this day. Let me put here day and this day and another option value equal to week this week and you can add more options of course uh, and let me choose or put an option as choose it's necessary and we will see why so choose or please choose choose and we can go and choose some of those here now what I'm going to add to another drop box for example male or female so let me go and select let me put here date employed because we are working in a table of employees date employed and here let me put an ID of this drop list is sex and class equal to btn btn primary it's from bootstrap and it's drop down togo it's a bootstrap class of course you can just remove the class if you don't know about bootstrap now let me add some option here option value equal to choose or specify of course specify and specify and final option and of course another option it's value equal to male and here of course male and of the option value female and here we have the option let me see it first okay we have this drop list and this second drop list now if we see we have a drop a text box here with a search button so go and add them I set the ID of the text box into text search and the button type button and ID equal to search now let's go and start the basic of our script and it is when the button is clicked and I call it search so quotes hash search dot click function of course enter braces and semicolon at the end and here let's put some condition if first let me put var txt and bring the value inside the text box so var txt it will be equal to 
dollar codes hash txt search it's the the id of our text box dot val what we have inside of it and let's see it in the console for now console dot log txt so let's go and press f12 let's type a anything and here it is we are getting the value properly now let me remove this console here line and put some condition if txt equal to empty you can set here an alert or you can just make some css effect so dollar the text box is txt search dot css and let's change the border color so border color and let's set it to red and let's here for now put else and we will write the code inside of it later so if i click on search you will see it's red now to say that please enter at least some characters inside this text box now let's go and change this database when you are working with filters on a e-commerce website or a job website those filters should be inside your database so what we are going to add two columns in this table the first one is the date and the second one is the gender so let's go and alter this table right click on your table and alter table and let's add here date employed and of course it's a date and let's go and add gender and it is varchar let's apply the results and go again and add some information to this let me add I will choose 2016 O2 and let me add 20 here let's fill the information okay and 2016 01 01 let's apply the change you can show those new lines and let's go and change here first let me add here two column the first one is date employed and here is gender and here of course date employed and here gender and here it is our information now after setting up our workspace let's go and start with the scripts.